Let's go on a journey that you will have to embark on at some point in your life. The journey of self-discovery and the process of becoming. Your life is a blank canvas waiting for you to pick up the brush and paint the reality in which you wish to create for yourself. You are the Picasso of your canvas and you have full creative control over the imagery that is forged by each stroke. If you painted an image of yourself, would it be an authentic portrayal of your true identity? Or would it be a mere impersonator, wearing the mask of societal expectations and conformity? What does it mean to walk in your true identity? Are you satisfied with whom you become? Or are you still striving to become the best version of yourself? If you're not happy with the image staring back at you in the mirror, what would it take for you to become the person you aspire to be? What are you willing to sacrifice to stand out and not fit in? Are you willing to become the person who embraces pain as a catalyst for growth? A teacher of resilience and as a reminder of your strength? Be determined to do something today that you've never done before. Go the extra mile, dig a little deeper, work a little harder, and go into the depths of your soul to find the truth within. You have what it takes to be that guy. Nothing is holding you back. Besides you not putting in the work it requires to live the life you want. Blood, sweat, in tears is a common idiom that symbolizes hard work, sacrifice, and dedication. Don't give in to the desire to settle and accept life for what it is. You cannot be afraid to take the road less traveled to unearth your true self. You cannot be concerned about letting others down, especially if it means sacrificing your own well-being and potential for growth. Don't be afraid to take risk. Be prepared to push your body to its limits, embracing extreme measures to propel yourself forward. People don't want you to be your true self. In fact, they would rather you become someone they can feel adequate around. So they will try to guilt you for who you are. You have to be comfortable with being your own company. But if you don't want to hang out with you, then you have work to do. The greatest fear people live with is the fear of not living up to their fullest potential. To die before you become your greatest self is a travesty to both you and your family and the gift of life you were blessed to have. There are many undiscovered identities that are buried in the graveyard because people were too afraid to go inward and do the work. Too afraid to reflect and face the harsh truths about self. Most people never become who they aspire to be because of the work, sacrifice, and perseverance required along the way. Life often demands stepping out of your comfort zone, facing fears and enduring setbacks. You may underestimate the level of dedication and resilience needed to reach your goals. And when you are confronted with challenges, you become discouraged or give up altogether. If you get out of your head and commit to putting in the effort make the necessary sacrifices and persist in the face of adversity, you are more likely to turn your aspirations into reality. It's through determination, hard work, and a willingness to overcome obstacles that you can truly fulfill your potential. Your problem isn't that other people are talking you out of going after it. 
Your problem is that you are talking you out of becoming the best version of yourself possible. You make excuses for yourself and you allow enablers to make excuses for you as well. Stop giving yourself a pass not to do the work. There's a price to pay to be great. And you want to be great without doing the work or paying the price. Nobody's going to do the work for you. Nobody's going to feel sorry for you. And no one is going to save you from you. You have to do the work to become the person you want to be. People don't give a damn about your story or what you're going through. Stop trying to fit in with people who aren't going anywhere. Stop trying to force people to accept you. If they are not for you, then to hell with them. Be yourself. Don't change who you are to fit in the places you don't belong. The world wants you to present the watered down version of yourself. But you better show up as your authentic self every day. You were not meant to be a replica of anyone. You are unique. You are peculiar. And you are your own masterpiece. Be the person people can depend on, rely on, and can trust. Finding your identity will not be an easy task. But it's imperative you take on the responsibility of discovering who you are because it's on the journey of introspection where you can fully unlock your potential. Do you have the courage to make the sacrifices necessary to challenge yourself? Push yourself beyond your limits and break free from the confines of other people's expectations. You cannot be afraid to be yourself. People may not agree with who you are. People may not like who you are becoming, but you owe it to yourself to walk in your true identity. Don't forfeit your values, goals, aspirations, and most importantly, your identity so others can be happy with you. To be happy with self requires pissing off other people. If it came down to your happiness or the happiness of the people around you, who are you going to put first? You owe you to put yourself first. You owe your future self the grind, the tears, the embracing of hurt and pain now. So the future you can enjoy the spoil of your hard work and perseverance. Prioritizing your own well-being and growth lays the foundation for a brighter future. The grind, the tears, and the willingness to confront challenges head on are investments in your future self. Embracing hurt and pain now allows you to build resilience and strength, ensuring that your future will reap the rewards of your efforts. Remember, you owe it to yourself to pursue your dreams, overcome obstacles, and create a life that aligns with your aspiration. Stay committed to your journey and trust that the sacrifices you make today to become your best self will lead to a fulfilling and rewarding tomorrow. You don't have to be everything for everyone, but you do owe it to yourself to be everything for you. Prioritize it. Your personal fulfillment may conflict with others' expectations and desires of you. But who gives a damn? You have to live with you. You can have other people paint on your canvas and control your narrative. Or you can be the one to create your own masterpiece. Crafting your narrative with bold strokes of authenticity.